It is one of my favorite days of the week, hair care day. I do my hair care routine about twice a week, usually on Mondays and Thursdays. Now that's not to say that I only wash my hair once or twice a week. I'm almost an everyday hair wash girly. I, I just, I don't know man, I've tried the whole like going a few days without washing your hair, but I just can't do it. I also work out every day and I sweat a lot. So that is part of the reason why I feel like I need to wash my hair every day. Um, if I don't work out that day, then I won't wash it. But if I do work out, which is most of the time, Monday through Friday, I wash my hair Monday through Friday. There is absolutely nothing wrong with washing your hair every single day. As long as you're maintaining a healthy scalp, do as you please. I am also not a hair care expert, so consult your hairstylist or your doctor before trying any new products. This is just what works for me and I want to share it with you. So this is my hair after a workout. I let it air dry. I'm not kidding when I say my hair looks like I jumped in a swimming pool after I work out. So usually I get home, rinse my body off, and I'll let my hair air dry. The first thing I do is apply a hair serum for hair growth and density. Before I do that, I wanna stimulate my scalp. To do that, I'm gonna use my little bamboo brush. I got this from Amazon, it was $9. So what I'm gonna do is brush through my hair for like two to three minutes to stimulate my scalp. I also really like the hairbrush from Day to brush through my hair. It's not as harsh as the bamboo brush, meaning like it detangles a lot less painfully than the bamboo brush does. Okay, once our hair is nice and brushed through and our scalp is stimulated, we're going to apply our serum. I have a couple different ones that I rotate through, but currently I've been loving the Ordinary, so let me grab it. This is the one I've been using and loving lately. It is the multi-peptide serum for hair density. I love how affordable the Ordinary is as well. Well, ASMR. So what I do is just start in the middle of my scalp, and yes, I apply the dropper right to my scalp. And I make sure to work it in evenly, rub it in. And then I'll kind of go in one inch sections throughout my hair. So starting from the middle, going over, taking another section of hair, grabbing some more, putting it through. Don't neglect the back of your head. Again, massaging it in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do that throughout my whole head. Now, just to make sure the serum is completely massaged in and for a little extra self-care, I'm gonna use a scalp massager and just massage the serum into my head. It also feels really good. Okay, I'm just going to gently brush through my hair to make sure there's no knots before I apply our hair mask. Now, I like to apply my hair mask to damp hair, not drenched, just a little damp because it does help the mask to grip better to your hair strands. So I just use this little spray bottle. I get it from Amazon, fill it up with water, and I'm gonna spray my mids to ends through and get it a little damp. Usually I rotate between all of my different hair masks every week, so let's pick one out together. I have a lot to choose from, and I'm gonna do one that I haven't done in a while. We're gonna do this Orbe one. It is the Orbe Signature Moisture Mask. Okay, so this mask I have actually not used before. I used the other Orbe mask that I have, but I got this during the Sephora sale, so we're gonna try it out. I love a super thick texture mask. Okay, so what I do is I just start taking little sections of my hair and apply it from my mids to ends, and I make sure that I work it all the way through so that each and every hair strand is evenly coated, and it does take a little bit to work it through. Apply it to the next section of hair. If your hair dries up at all during the process, you can always re-wet it too. That side is done. I'm gonna respray a little bit of this side. 
This routine works especially well if you are like me and you have no patience to sit in the shower and wait for a mask to like sink in for like 10 to 15 minutes. I usually like clean, do errands around the house while I let my mask sit in for an hour or two and then I will wash it out. I literally cannot wait to get these off. I only got long nails for my engagement and I didn't even want them this long, but the nail artist was like, can't do them any shorter than that with Gel-X extensions. And I was like, oh. that's all right. I'm gonna let these ride out and then I'm gonna get my short nails back. So I'm gonna pull my hair back into like a little twisty updo. Grabbing a claw clip and then clipping my hair into place. Now we're gonna let the mask and the hair serum chill for a couple hours. I'll see you in a bit. Also really quick, can we talk about this Tower 28 mascara? This is one coat. Three hours later. All right, it's been a couple hours. I've done my chores. All I wanna do is take a shower. So I'm gonna show you how I prep my hair for that. I'm going to take this right here, the love of my life. This is the Amika Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. Is that what it is? So it's basically an oil to like foam consistency, but it helps to cleanse your scalp and you do it before you get in the shower or before you shampoo. And you kind of just apply it the same way we applied the hair serum or the scalp serum. Get it all in there. And when you start to rub it in, it emulsifies into like a foam. It gets really sudsy. I don't know. It's just really cool. Cool. Okay, now it's time to get in the shower. I'm gonna use this shampoo and conditioner. It's the hair alchemy line from Orbe. All right, I'm out of the shower and something that has made a huge difference in the health of my hair is wrapping my hair in a microfiber hair towel to dry instead of a regular towel. A regular towel tends to tug at your hair strands and can cause damage. Microfiber hair towel is much more gentle and I find that my hair actually dries faster. I usually let it dry while I go and do my skincare and then I'll come back and finish the rest of my hair routine. Looking cute. It's been like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna take my hair out of the microfiber towel. I am purging so bad right now. I have all my pimple patches on my face though, so. First thing I do is a leave-in conditioner because we need to detangle this hair. The one I'm using tonight is from Jizu. It is their leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna use my day hairbrush and just gently comb through my hair. Now you have to be really careful when you are brushing your hair when it's wet because it is at its most vulnerable state. So it's most prone to breakage when it's wet. Now I like to go in with some kind of scalp serum to leave on my hair and not wash out. I alternate between like a spray and just a regular serum. I think tonight I'm gonna go with the serum. This one is from Necessaire called the Scalp Serum. I really like it. It's fragrance free and it has peptides in it for hair growth and density. Kind of do what we did with the ordinary serum. Just start placing it on the middle of my scalp and work in like little sections and then make sure we massage it in. Now I really like to go in with a hydration treatment before putting on my hair oil to lock in that moisture. And lately I've really been liking the dream routine from Amika. It's the overnight hydration treatment. And I'm just gonna take like two pumps and work it into my mids and ends. And I take what's ever left over on my fingers and just like run it through my roots. You will wake up with the softest hair when you use this. Now I just take any hair oil. Tonight I'm gonna use the Olaplex number no. seven and the oil will act as a bind to whatever treatment you put in right before it. So it's gonna seal in that overnight hydration treatment that we just did. All right, that's it, it's super simple. I wait for my hair to dry and then I'll put it in a loose braid to protect my hair. I also sleep on a silk pillowcase to minimize hair damage. This routine, these steps have worked really well for me over the last couple months. I obviously change out the products because I have a lot, so I like to alternate between different products each week, but these specific steps have really helped to help my hair grow and maintain a lot of volume and density. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. New videos every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern.